Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're going to go through the setup process and installing the new Mac OS High Sierra which has actually come out a little bit earlier. So for models that are compatible, it's iMac models from 2009 or later, MacBook models from 2009 or later, MacBook Pro models from 2010 or later, MacBook Air models from 2010 or later, Mac Mini models from 2010 and later and Mac Pro models from 2010. 2010 or later. The only way you can update to High Sierra is through the Mac App Store. So I have my MacBook Pro here. So we're going to go along to the App Store and then you are greeted with a big banner now. So they have a banner saying about Mac OS High Sierra. So click on this. It's a free download, which is really nice to see. Listing down below, again, it's going to say if your device is capable to run this and then you have some screenshots of what's new. But we'll go through that a little bit later in the setup process. So what I'm going to do is actually download now. That's going to start my download. So while that is downloading, your Mac is going to be elevated now. So we had Sierra. Now we're going to High Sierra. So they haven't really put much thought into their names. But with new technologies at the heart of the system will make your Mac more reliable, capable and responsible. So they're focusing on deep technologies. So with a focus on deep technologies means your Mac is going to be more faster. It's going to be more reliable and it's going to be more capable of doing better things. It will improve the way your Mac saves data. There's new architecture now. And the way your Mac saves data, duplicates files and moves files, it's all going to be quicker. With efficiency in video streaming will help unleash the full power of your graphics cards. So they're changing the way videos are streamed on your Mac as well now. Like I said, there's a new enhanced 64-bit architecture design to help today's flash storage and is ready for tomorrow's new flash storage to come. It's responsible, helps duplicate duplicating files and finding the size of files quicker as well. So like I said, it's a lot of deep technology. So not many glossy, nice things you can look at, but deep inside, they have changed quite a lot. Safe and secure, enjoying even more peace of mind with built-in encryption, crash safe protections and simplified data backup on the go. Now with the new video format of HEVC, the new standard for video compression is 40 times more better than the previous model and means that we can use the new 60 frames per second on the iPhone 8 Plus. So I'm looking forward to testing that out. Metal 2 has been updated with graphics game changer and virtual reality is coming to the Mac now as well. So the machines are powerful enough alongside the software to work with VR. And then all our favorite apps are updated as well with maps updated, messages, finder, photographs, all updated, glossy new icons, which we'll have a look at when it's updated. Safari has have an update as well for your adverts. So you won't be tracked now if you click on an advert for say a trumpet when you go onto another website that won't be there so it's not tracking your adverts as such you'll still see adverts but it will be more streamlined itunes has already had an update so it can work with our new devices so before doing this make sure you do back up your mac either using time capsule or what other software you use to actually make sure you have a backup before doing an update i do recommend you always do that so we're going to let that download and we'll come back when finished once your download has completed this little screen will pop up and now you're ready to install mac os high sierra again please make sure you do a backup before continuing so we have apple's agreements here and it's going to ask you to select your drive that you want to install it onto so then it will ask you for your password on your device then it's going to restart and then the process will begin you can actually force restart here so we're going to do that now so don't worry if your mac reboots a couple of times or you hear some weird noises it's absolutely fine do not restart it do not take the power out as well especially with the macbooks just leave it to go and then it'll come up when ready to carry on our update has finished and completed and it will ask you to log in with your password for your computer that you've already preset then your apple id for icloud will need to be inserted here so i've just covered that up so just setting up your mac and we're back to the mac app store my monitor that's connected is working straight away no issues like i said there is more under the hood sort of update so files will be a little bit quicker your mac will run at safari a little bit quicker the apps will be all updated as well so we have a look down here at the bottom like i said you've got the new looking maps 
app now. Photos will also be updated, iTunes updated. FaceTime now, you'll be able to take a photograph when you're FaceTiming like what we're used to on our devices as well. So your apps are all there. Like I said, I'm gonna have a little play around with it for the next week and then we'll have a video. But this was just the update on showing you how to install Mac OS High Sierra. If you do have any problems, questions or queries, please drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks always for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.